Bless love and peace. Where do you live? How do you pay your bills? What kind of clothes do you wear? How do you put food on the table? What food do you put on the table? What kind of car do you drive? How much do you pay for rent, mortgage, how much money is in your bank account? Do you own any stock? Do you own any land? What is your job? What is your yearly income? What is your weekly paycheck? What is your daily budget? How much do you spend on groceries? Do you travel? Where do you go? How much do you spend? What is your leisure activity? How much do you spend? How much time do you spend on media? How much is your mobile phone? What kind of mobile phone do you got? How much is your Wi-Fi bill? Your cable bill? Your satellite bill? What channels do you watch? What programs do you watch? What content do you watch? What content do you hide? Who do you talk about? Who do you talk with about that content? <laughs> and who do you talk about? What do you talk about? What are you doing? These are the questions. These are the answers. These are the solutions. Whatever the activism is, whatever the community is, kinfolk being open about all those things in order to be genuinely and enduringly connected with each other oh that's private that's none of your business then that's none of our business and we have little other business to discuss it's it is at that level it is at that point of disclosure of transparency forget about politicians and bankers and ceos and cults and all the other stuff, yo, your kinfolk, how much do you trust each other with that information? Your family, how about that? All of us, that applies to all of us. Solidarity involves that type of information, that type of trust with each other. Otherwise, the system is in between. It's infiltrated that relationship. People prioritize secrecy and confidentiality and privacy over relationship over community over heritage over solidarity so it's not just some propaganda hoopla it's life simple as that leadership are is the ones who are most forthright in answering those questions i've pretty much answered all those questions already generally speaking a lot of this, a lot of this is no and zero, <laughs> um, but when when kinfolk answer that now kinfolk are held accountable. Oh, hold up! You said you had none of this, and, and now you got that. How you get that? Where was you hiding that? Who where you get that from? Who you get that from? When did you get that? Oh well, you see what had happened was oh, suspect accountability transparency. Trust, communication, regularity, rituals, where we all get together and share information, share the resources. So that's that. Those are that's part of the solution. That's what the solution looks like. That's what the conversation of those solutions look like for anybody: Rastafari, Christian, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, Taoist, Chinese, African, European, Native. Whoever we are, that's that's the conversations that we're having. And and whatever lack of trust there is for people sharing that information with each other, that's exactly what's preventing the solidarity. And people just to be rec just to recognize people are valuing their relationship with the system 
over their relationship with each other. That's facts. So it ain't no blame. Don't blame the system for that. That's that's each of us. So if you expect to have some type of solidarity with the kinfolk around us, village, family, community, religion, congregation, Uma, Sangha, Shul, whatever, it's that type of information to be willing to share. Don't have to share the bank account. At least, at the very least, just be open about that. So that's some insight, that's some consideration, that's some perspective, particularly in prioritizing our pontifications. Plata. Um, so that being said, here's another consideration on relationship. Let me tell it. Still on this path, on this trod, essentially dolo style with many learned lessons. So that being said, here's the joint. Before I, I share the notion, I and I share the notion of body, mind, heart, and spirit. These being four, com four basic components of our complete being and our complete well-being. To look at the energy levels in, in each of those four con components um, where we're tr considerably fit in any one component and where we are considerably lacking or deficient or low in energy in any one of those components and then what we can do to increase our energy to increase our fitness our health our well-being in any one of those components in each of those components it's interconnected but it helps to look at each one specifically so body is body health nutrition physical fitness um uh internal um digestion circulatory system bones joints all that that's body mind is emotions to be honest um uh stress sense of peace um uh sharpness of mind concentration uh focus uh cognitive ability uh answering the solutions answering the challenges in each day um, just using the mind, the mind dome, the dome piece. So that's the mind. Heart is our relationships. Um, regular interaction with family, friends, loved ones, kin folk around us. It's relationship experience, even with nature and additionally, that's heart. And that's the one element that's beyond ourselves. It requires engagement with life beyond our personal respective selves. That's heart. Spirit is relationship with eternal, with a with, with cosmos. We say God, Creator, Elohim, Allah, Dao, Brahman, Wakan, Tonka. That's that's spirit. Um, that's prayer, meditation, uh, the the other world, the dreaming, um, and further. So that's the spirit element. That's the spirit component. So with that recognized and review established, here's the consideration concerning marriage, the experience of marriage. Again, let me tell it. But this is this is some recent recent sharing that I and I continue to share onto the eye and it's this I'm going to speak from the perspective of being a man so for for brethren uh, who've had a relationship before or even without having a, a, a romantic relationship uh, and, and even just having whatever the level of interaction is with with other other women outside of one's own family um, to consider this and looking at one's previous experience or even ongoing experience to consider each of those elements body mind heart and spirit so let's start with spirit in the spirit experience talking about religion spirituality truth universe heaven the big huge questions of life about life purpose of life and additionally spirit in that experience who is the woman that you most vibe with outside of your family? Who is the woman that you most vibe with? Why is that? What are the conversations? What's the nature of the interaction? Um, and so consider that thoroughly um, and, and understand the nature. It doesn't mean like propose that woman automatically, whatever. It doesn't mean not necessarily either. But just who, who, who is the woman that you most vibe with in that respect? So that's spirit-wise. On that, on that level, on that spiritual level. Now in the heart level, in terms of just relationship. Uh, and this we're talking about, again, uh, 
interaction with family, interaction with friends, um, the regularity, comfort um, of just sharing company with each other uh, and feeling comfortable, respected, uh, whatever those con- whatever those characteristics are that that one looks for, that a man looks for, that you look for in a woman, who is that woman that you most vibe with on that heart level of just being like, yo, that's people's right there. That's that's yo that yeah, I can see sh- her as the mother of my children. That type of experience, the heart experience. Um, so that's the second joint. Now again, obviously, we get into the mind experience. Out of all your experiences, the women outside of your family, who is the woman that you most vibe with on the mind level? That is intellectual, at your level, that you're comfortable with, having the conversations, sharing similar interests, uh, sharing conversation. Doesn't even have to even talk, doesn't even have to share conversation, but listens, supports, hears an article uh, or hears a talk or whatever and, and references it. But um, who is the woman outside of your family that you most vibe with on the mind level? Um, and then we get to the, the fourth one, which is one that brethren often emphasize so much, but yo, serious, it's relevant. It's, it's necessary. Who is the woman that you most, who is the woman outside of your family that you most vibe with at the body level? And here we're just, we're talking about physical attraction, whatever, whatever it is that the brethren look for in a woman, respectively, who is the woman that most vibes with you in that respect? Um, So then with that in consideration, looking at how important any one of those experiences are for you and how how that kind of melds um, into the type of woman that you're looking for, whether one woman is the answer for each of four of those components, um, whether it's one woman for one of those components. And that's just like the priority, um, how how rare it may be in any one of those components. and i mean not to sound formulaic not to sound too like uh laboratory-ish or whatever but it's helpful to have that kind of mindfulness uh as one as as we respectively continue in our conversations and additionally so um that's the joint that's the consideration there it is all thanks to praise the most high we can talk about his majesty highly celestial i his, invol- his relationship with uh, Her Majesty Wise Daraman is somewhat distinct. Um, there's, there's a lot of uh, the, the element of arranged marriages uh, and conversations um, that facilitate um, the purposefulness of relationship and additionally. And for many of us, that's actually very applicable to, to our, our tradition, our culture, where we are at this moment today. Many brethren, however, today are, 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 are conditioned and, and raised in, in a comparatively romantic marriage kind of scenario and paradigm so this is particularly provided for those because in that paradigm men have increasing amount of responsibility and onus of being proactive in finding a woman and finding a wife so um uh, for such brethren particularly that's what this consideration is shared uh for for that purpose um and encouragement so um Again, it's a matter of having respect continually, thoroughly for oneself, but also for women and each being. Uh, it's a matter of being honest with oneself, with one's intentions, being disciplined. Uh, women are beautiful, but at the same time, we have to be disciplined with our mind, uh, purposeful, um, knowing why it is we're doing what we're doing, uh, being able to articulate that with certain efficacy, comfortableness, um, being less worried about fumbles and foibles within ourselves or others, recognizing what the priorities are, and recognizing patience, foundation of all blessings. With that patience, um, having flexibility in conversation with others, woman, her parents, family, and additionally, and also with that patience towards us and all our other idiosyncrasies. So, that's some of the consideration at this moment. Again, all thanks and praise to the Most High, Elohim, blessed love and peace of Rastafari.